Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Trojan horse. I come over here on the left hand side at the top, two fingers and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, curve line over, straight diagonal up, and stop. I come back to my dot and I draw a curve line over, curve line down, and connect. Right here at this point I draw a straight line down, straight line over, and stop. Come back up here to this point and draw a curve line, straight line, curve line down, straight line down, connect. On the right hand side I'm going to draw a curve line, then I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, slightly curved line in, straight diagonal up, connect. I come down here on the left and I'm going to draw one curved line, two curved lines, three curved lines, straight line. Come up, one curved line, two curved lines, three curved lines, straight line, connect. Come on the back on the right, one, two, three curved lines, straight line. One, two, curved lines, straight line, connect. Now at this very bottom on the left I'm going to draw one circle, then I'm going to mimic it again, two circles, and if you have room, one more, three circles. Now I come over on the back and I'm going to do it again. One circle, mimic that line again, two circles, one more if you have room, three circles. Right in the center on the left I put a dot, right in the center on the right I put another dot. I come back over here. Right at this bottom I'm going to draw a curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect. Some of you might have more lines than not. Inside I draw a curve line up and I put a dot and I come back to the bottom and I go one, two little straight lines. Now I come up to the top and I draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little straight lines. Come back to the first line and draw a curved line up, connect, Curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line over, connect, curve line over, connect. Now I'm going to reverse it and draw a curve line in, curve line in, curve line in. I come back over here and I'm going to mimic this line. So I draw a curve line, straight diagonal curve line, straight diagonal. Right here in the center. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. We're going to go three, four, five. Now again, you might have more, you might have less, it all depends on how we draw. Now I come back over and I'm going to draw straight lines across wherever I can fit one. Try not to draw through your paper. See, jump over. Keep going. All the way down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then once I get to my rounder section, I draw a slightly curved line all the way down keep going and everybody's going to have a different <clears throat> excuse me again a different amount of lines because we all draw differently some draw big some draw little 
doesn't matter. Like I think I could use one more line here. Then I come in and I draw little straight lines perpendicular to what I just drew because this is supposed to be wooden slats, pieces of wood. So wherever you can put a little line, go for it. That's supposed to divide up the space. A little bit easier for this whole entire project. Then I take a look. Looks like I can put another line. If you need another line, go ahead and add it. I think that's it. Now, I don't want my Trojan horse to look like he's floating in outer space, so I put a little horizon lines down at the bottom. Okay? I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is one of those projects where you go through your crayon box or bag like I have, and you see how many browns you have, because it's all wood. So depending on how many browns you have is going to determine how your horse is going to look. So I wanted my face and my body to be all one brown. So I did that first. Then I used that same brown to do one of these striped sections on the leg. I'm still using the same brown. Then I came in and I did part of my wheels again with the same brown. Okay? Then I looked through my stuff and I found another brown. So I did my main, this part right here, a different color brown. And I did the tail, a different color brown. I added a brown stripe using this color brown. And I did part of the wheel with this color brown. Now, some of you are going, hey, I don't have browns. I only have one brown. Then you use light and dark. So you color, use the same brown light, and then use the same brown dark. I even found another brown to do my little details. So for my windows and for the inside wheel, I did a third brown and on my stripes. If you don't have browns, all those browns, you could use gray and you could also use a little bit of black. So then you could do brown, black, and gray and that would look fine. That would work. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Trojan horse all colored in with my different color browns. Ready to be sneaked into the city filled with soldiers. Okay, bye-bye.